use retail therapy to deal with my depression. Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna break something. So as you guys know, I really, really, really like Overwatch. That basically means I really like abuse because this is an abusive relationship that I've been in for three years. Since Overwatch is the love of my life, also my job. I figured it's finally time to build a computer to show the love that I have for Overwatch. Now two things I want to say. One, if you clicked on this video with your intentions of judging someone based on something that I've never ever ever done before, check yourself real quick. It's like watching a two year old learning how to walk and you calling them a failure that they never amount to anything. Which has happened before. I done this, bruh. And two, some people are wondering, oh, are you still going to be playing console? Yes, I'm still going to be putting myself through that abuse. Alright, let's have some fun with this. <laughs> First, let's talk about the hardware that I bought that's going to get me audited by the IRS. A Ryzen 9 3900X. I went with AMD because I'm not only going to be using this for, well, playing Overwatch, but more importantly, streaming and rendering videos. A B450F game. Oh god, there's so many numbers when it comes to this. This motherboard. MSI RTX GeForce 2700, 27X Super. G Skill RAM, but not just one, two. Also RGB. If you're wondering why I like RGB so much, it's because I'm a 10 year old kid that associates pretty colors with high technology. I I'm not wrong. One M.2 SSD. Eight terabyte hard drive for all the Overwatch footage and porn. Windows 10, which no PC builds ever mention that this is gonna be another $100. I regret buying this because I found a way that you can basically get it for either free or $25. The 750 80 gold rated power supply. Uh, there aren't a lot of power supplies right now on the market because you know. <laughs> Death. And then just some accessories that I definitely don't need. Some cable mods, orange because, well, this is an Overwatch build. A Funko Pop for Overwatch's 2 Tracer skin, which I thought was, you know, quirky. And of course, some RGB. Two of them. An all-white Razer mouse because it was $25 and on sale on Amazon. And a K55 Corsair keyboard because it has macro keys that I use for video editing. It's not the greatest, but it's really quiet because I hate mechanical keyboards and I hate how clicky they are. And of course, uh, this. Bad boy. Ugh. To top things off, this is the NZX H500 Overwatch case, and no, they did not send it to me. Blizzard didn't send it to me. I'm not sponsored by anyone in this video because everybody thinks I'm cringe. <laughs> Let's get started. Ooh -hoo -hoo! My god, is she pretty? So we got a pretty plain Overwatch logo that is just literally like plastered on there, but then we look at the front. That's or to turn, we have an Overwatch light that lights up every time you turn it on. But then, boys and girls, we got an orange stripe that is used for cable management. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so we got the case out. I am now nervous. <laughs> oh, it just comes out like that. And the back goes out. All right, let's get freaky with the milk board. I, I'm sorry, I thought it'd be funny because it's motherboard and I'm sorry. First is just to put in the CPU, one of the most expensive things of this build, and if I mess up a pin, I'm gonna cry. Here's the chip. You know, I've had a pre-built PC for about three years now. It's not like I'm an idiot idiot when it comes to this. I'm just stupid. Alright, alright, stay focused, stay focused. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. Alright. There we go. I'm already sweating, bruh. Like, I really want to make jokes and have fun with this, but when you're dealing with hundreds of dollars of parts, you kind of can't be an idiot. Let's get the memory in there. Now, this is 64 gigabytes of RAM. Why do I need that much RAM, you might ask? Well, because I use Chrome. So this should be good enough for three Chrome tabs. Luckily, I can't mess this part up, and I already messed it up. I didn't open these. <laughs> boom, pow, bada boom, pow. Oh! All right, all the RAM sticks are in. Now I think it's time for this puppy, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. <gasps> ah! Okay, I think it's good. Just then clamp this on, I'm guessing. Oh, that's it? Please tell me that's it. Oh my God, that's it. <laughs> that was the most stressful thing I have to do in a while. Luckily with this motherboard, there's a little fan cable tie thingy right here that I can just easily feed it through and then boop, there we go. That's all looking cute. Now that the motherboard is done, Let's start with the power supply. When are they gonna start making RGB coolers? I feel like that's already, I feel like every single PC part has some form of RGB. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I know, every single one of these cables, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, 
Oh, that's what we like to see, boys and girls. That's what we like to see! While we're at it, let's just confuse myself some more by opening even more cables. Check that out! Well, I know one thing's for sure. We're gonna put this power supply in the booty hole in my case. The fast realization that I came to when building this computer is that I see why people continue to build PCs but hate building PCs. It's super annoying to build, but you love it when it comes together and it becomes a beautiful PC. All right, so we got that bad boy in there. Now comes the cable management part. This is gonna be really boring. I'll be back. I'm back. I thought you'd like to see something very scary that I'm gonna have to deal with eventually, but not right now. That took about two hours, so I figured while we're back here, why don't we try to get our hard drive in here? Probably should have done this earlier because now there's just a bunch of wires here. Oh yeah, eight terabytes worth of memory. That's hot. So I still wanted the hard drives from my old computer because I figured I'm not doing this again. It's pretty simple, actually. And boop, it's like a little bump bed, but for hard drive. Honestly, the thing that's getting me really, really anxious is just having to cable management this whole entire thing. I mean, look at this! 11 terabytes later, and we're back to putting this in. We got that bad boy in. Time for more cable management. It's just cable management after cable management. One thing I forgot to do is install the M.2 drive on the motherboard, so let's do that. Back to you, my old friend. I'm just gonna put it right, cha. This really can't be that difficult, can it? Can I make it difficult? Where are the screws? I think this is it. We'll find out soon enough. All right. I think that was the simplest thing that I'm pretty sure I got wrong. <laughs> Next, I think it's time to finally put this motherboard in this PC. Right, 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 chop. Please lay down nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Oh, that's not smooth. All right, cables, I'm gonna need you to app on. This is where it becomes scary because now we are making things semi-permanent with screws. You know what, I just can't be scared. I just gotta commit to it. Go, 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 go. Okay, careful now. Careful, line up the I.O. shield that's pre-installed. Thank freaking God. All right, all right. I think, I think we did a thing. Let's just start right here. This whole thing is just literally screwing. I mean, I'm down, but like, come on, bro. All right, boys, I think we got the motherboard installed. I mean, it's, it's, it's in there. I don't know if it's like properly in there, but it's in there. I guess the test to see if it's actually gonna stay. Okay, I'm happy with it. I'm happy. I'm happy. Now you might be wondering when we're gonna install the GPU. Probably last because that thing is pretty chunky. It's gonna get in the way of so many things. I feel like a major part of this build is just trying to figure out where all the plugs go in. Let's connect some of these SATA cables, shall we? Does it matter which one it goes into? That's such a satisfying click. I don't know why that got me so happy. Where the fudge is the CPU cooler at? Wait, are you telling me I gotta take this cable and put it all the way right there? <gasps> you can fit, I believe, I believe. How the fudge are you supposed to fit through there? Oh, oh, just, just like that, okay, we're fine, we're fine. I had to change cameras, so if the quality drops, then I'm sorry. If it doesn't, I wasted $500 on a new camera that doesn't make a difference. We're still trying to connect cables. These are so stiff. Oh, I don't even know if these are in the right way. Oh my God, they're not even in the right way. Put it in, put it in, put it in. Did, you, did I get it? God, that looks very ugly. Nothing ain't more of these teeth can't fix. Rawr. <laughs> now let's get some of these bottom things in. This part is, um, difficult. Yeah, yeah, th th this is all boring. This is all boring. How about we actually do some RGB strips? Seems simple enough. So my plan is, oh boy, oh, this is going to be a long one, boy. <laughs> I just had to have a pretty computer to make things even more complicated, but hey, I'm all, god dang it. And then we place this one right in there. This one goes right in, cha. And this one clicks in, and because it's magnetic, I don't have to deal with 3M tape. Oh, please stick. Oh, yes. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. You can't see it, but boy, does it look so cute. All right, well, we got our RGB strips in for when we want to have a light show and be annoying. Now, let's get back to the least fun part, the other stuff that we need to do. What plugs? into what? So the last you saw from me was when I was trying to plug in the plugs into the plug plugs. I figured it out, but it took like half an hour to an hour, and I'm sure nobody wants to see me plug something in something. Because what people want to see is for, guys, it's not even a frame, is for me to plug in my GPU, the Gaming X graphics card. Woo! 
One thing that I want to point out though, it just seems like every single graphics card has some sort of problem. It's never a five star. It either has coil wine or it's too big for most chassis or it's just plain ugly. This was legit the only five star rated GPU. Now there obviously is a con to this one and that is it is a big chunky boy. Oh my god. Look at how big this thing is. It comes with a stand or a thing that helps keep it up. Remove before gaming. You got it sir. That wasn't that good of a pull. <laughs> Let me see how this is gonna go. Jesus this thing is so freaking massive. Well, that's one way to do it. Okay, so here we go. The moment we have all been waiting for. Putting this big chunky boy in. Come on. Please go in. Go in. I'm begging you. No! Oh, it has a little plastic cover. Okay, back to trying to jam it in here. Ugh. Oh my god. I think it is. Well, we'll know if it is in post. What comes in here? Are there stickers? Oh no, more, more, oh no. I mean, there's a tiny bit of sag, but just like big boobs, if you want to enjoy them, you gotta enjoy the sag as well. So, let us wait. What the fudge? There's more? There's more that I need of cables? Ah! These cables are gonna be the death of me, I swear to God. Okay, I think I got it. I'm done, I think. I wanna be done, I'm so tired. So hungry, there's cables everywhere, there's manuals everywhere, but I think we got everything. Well, hot gamer boys and e-girls everywhere, about five hours later, we have the Overwatch PC. I'm so nervous, man. <laughs> Let's finally see if this computer works. Oh, oh crap, I gotta turn it on and back. <laughs> Let's see if this computer actually works. Uh-oh. <gasps> okay, okay, that's good, that's good. All right, I think I got it now. Let's see if this PC actually works. God damn! I think I might know the issue. Oh, it's gonna be a long one, boy. So I took a break because my friend came with Jimmy John's bread. I got like 20 loaves, bruh. <laughs> so I think I figured out the problem, and I'm pretty sure most PC fanatics will know what I'm talking about. It's the HDD LED, the plus P LED, the minus P LED, and the power switch connector was in the wrong spot. So now I gotta try to decode this thing and how to place it. So, oh, this sucks. I can see why people do not like this. Let's retry turning on this PC again. Oh, please, please, please turn on, please. Yes! Let's go! Why is the GPU running at full blast? It don't matter. I got it to work. Why aren't the LED strips on? <laughs> I'll get the LED strips figured out, but let's just update the BIOS, get Windows 10 on, and let's finish this. Well, at least we got it to run, but there's no pictures, so I'll be back. Tell me why the solution to getting the display- I got it! I'm happy! But the solution here was to get a new monitor and to get a new HDMI cable. I'm gonna kill myself, I swear to God! Oh, thank God, okay, so it recognizes the CPU. I'm gonna admit something, I bent a pin. <laughs> I just got my nail and just kinda trooped it back in. All right, I have no idea what, 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 oh boy. Uh, so after about two hours of tinkering with not only BIOS, but trying to figure out how to install Windows, again, a simple little thing. I just had to go to the Microsoft website, get a USB drive, format it to be a boot drive, and then I can get this screen. <laughs> ah! Let's just install Windows. Dog, if this doesn't work, I I'm about to cry. I I like, I'm about to end it all. Woo! We finally did this! I'm in the United States. Hi. Are you gonna make things easy for me, please? I've gone through this for eight hours. We're almost there. If I didn't have to troubleshoot for about six hours, we would have gotten done a lot sooner than this. So I figured out the LED strips. It was on backwards. God, I'm an idiot. You see that? It's seven in the morning, but my boys, we got it all working with the colors. Everything looks so pretty. Let's
Let's get some B-roll, shall we? Tired of being a bother, huh? Numbing this bitch that my father was Often expecting the obvious Thinking we better be and make it harder, huh? Lying to myself, I'm okay Best friend with the pain Barely get in the way Tired of being a bother, huh? Numbing this bitch that my father was Often expecting the obvious Thinking we better be and make it harder, huh? Lying to myself, I'm okay Well guys, that was my Overwatch PC build. And overall, it was a nightmare, I'll admit, but I'm so happy the way that turned out. I think my favorite part of this build has got to be the light. There's a button in the back where you can just turn it on and off again. It took me a long time to figure that out. One cool thing that I would like to figure out is how to turn this orange light into just various colors like pink and red so that if I ever want to change the colors in there, well, this could match these colors. And I also went with an orange theme because, well, this is an Overwatch theme case. The cable management thingy is orange in there, so I figured an all orange theme wouldn't be too out of the ordinary. I also didn't know how to pair up Aura and MSI's dragon lights together. They just don't want to cooperate, so I might have to change some parts so I can get all the RGB synced up. But how it is right now, I'm really, really happy. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching me build my very first PC. Because if it wasn't for you watching something that I've wanted for such a long time, being able to entertain so many of you guys, and this wouldn't have happened. And my mindset is, I'm going to put all the money that I made from the channel back into the channel and back into the stream. And this is going to not only make the stream quality way better, but just make videos a lot more efficient to make. I'm still gonna suck at Overwatch, so that part won't be better, but I'm gonna be sucking in style. And when Overwatch 2 comes around, this PC is gonna come in handy. That was also another idea as to why I wanted to build a PC, because I just need a better, efficient machine to help make my job a little bit easier. And I hope you guys understand that. But either way, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And is nobody gonna talk about how I dyed my hair in between building this Overwatch PC?